Delighted to be here. That's Bruce Saunders on guitar. Yeah, 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 right on. Bruce Saunders. He's teaching me tonight. And James Souter on the bass. Another one of my professors. Sorry, Dr. Dr. Souter. Yes, you bet. Doc. I saw, I saw the Ken Burns uh, documentary on jazz, and he said, what you really need is a good drummer. So I took his word for it. Masumi Jones on drums. Masumi Jones. We're delighted to be here. Thank you, the Austin Jazz Society and Project Safety Net, which is kind of an amazing situation, helping musicians in town, jazz musicians in particular. So, uh, And Colin Shook has really put something marvelous together here, and he's going to say a few words right now. In the meantime, we do have some CDs for sale in the back, if you want to continue the the support and keep it going.
Thank you, Bruce. Welcome, everyone. My name is Colin Shook. Uh, you are here at Monk's Jazz. Uh, we have a very sold out house tonight. How is everybody doing out there tonight? God, that, that feels so good <laughs> to be able to do that. Um, again, thank you for coming. If you're here on the uh, live stream, welcome YouTube, welcome Facebook. Uh, I see quite a few familiar faces and quite a few new ones as well. If you like what you're hearing, please do share the video. Feel free to leave a comment. You can uh, comment with your applause, just like you hear in the room, in, in the studio, uh, with you know the fire emojis, the clapping hands emojis, the strong arm emojis, all those things. You guys can definitely participate online. We have a screen over here that we can see all of that happening. Um, but yeah, thank you all so much for tuning in to the live taping and being here in the audience. This is the 50th in the series of Tuesdays we've done with the Austin Jazz Society. And I have a few words uh, to say prepared by the president of the Jazz Society, Tom Van Tassel. Um, in March of 2020, it was evident that the COVID-19 pandemic would be uh, devastating to many of the local Austin jazz musicians who lost significant income due to the pandemic. Um, the Austin Jazz Society formed a committee uh, to launch a fundraising campaign to help the most vulnerable musicians, and they seeded it with $5,000 there at the end of March, uh, and the Austin area jazz community responded very heavily. It was amazing. Um, grants started to flow uh, in early April out to the musicians in town. Uh, in late May, the Jazz Society teamed up with us, Monks Jazz, uh, to start a weekly live streaming series. That's this Tuesday night series and um, once again the community responded with faithful viewers and donors allowing the musicians to be paid and the Project Safety Nun net uh, fund to grow to help other musicians needing assistance um, beyond just not having income. There's a lot of gigs coming back. It's awesome. Uh, with your help the project has raised uh, over $130,000 benefiting over 110 <laughs> local jazz musicians. Um, and while this stream is, uh, is closing out, uh, Project Safety Net will remain a significant ongoing initiative of the Jazz Society to help support uh, local jazz musicians in need. Please consider making a tax-deductible donation, uh, contribution to this amazing and worthy cause. You guys tuning in tonight, please go to that paypal.me slash Austin Jazz Society. We definitely have the ticket revenue that's helping to pay for this space and the musicians and the leftover goes back into the Project Safety Net. But if you guys in the room would like to make a tax-deductible tax donation as well, uh, please come talk to me or reach out to the Austin Jazz Society. Uh, and if you'd like to be recognized as a sponsor for tonight, I believe they're going to be texting and emailing me as they come in, but please leave $100 or more. Thank you to the sponsors we have for this evening. Uh, Denny Malloy, BBA Management, Forrest Priest, Clay Robinson, and of course, the Austin Jazz Society. Thank you all so much for coming tonight. Uh, thank you.
Oh. Thank you. The first tune we played uh, to open the, the set was just a kind of a greeting uh, for everybody, to welcome everybody here, and then we went into Cedar Walton's Fiesta Espanol. He's uh, one of my very influential pianists from Dallas, where I grew up. And the uh, last tune we just finished was uh, dedicated to Woody Shaw and Mal Waldron. That's a tune I wrote called Woody and Mal. We're going to continue with one of my teachers. And uh, just, uh, man, ever since he came to town, it's, it's just been kind of, the bar was raised. Bruce Saunders wrote this tune. It's called True That.
Thank you. Uh, anybody that knows me uh, knows I had a long re working relationship and friendship with Rich Harney. We're going to do a composition of his right now entitled Smarty Pants. And uh, then we'll follow that with one of mine called Optimism. For many, uh, the last year, I thought about changing it to pessimism. But <laughs> we're going to keep it optimistic. First, we'll play Mr. Smarty Pants.
Please, Colin Shook. We get a little break now. Give it up for Alex and this fantastic quartet. I'm definitely having a blast mixing it back there in the headphones. Uh, if you get a chance, go back to YouTube and, and, and check out the studio mix that we're doing here. Uh, thank you all so much for coming out here tonight and tuning into the stream. We've definitely had some sponsorships come in. Um, and uh, we've had some sponsorships from uh, folks right here in the audience. So if you're tuning in online, there's still an opportunity to be recognized uh, by the end of the stream here tonight. Um, thank you so much to the sponsors we have for this evening. Of course, Denny Malloy, BBA Management, Forrest Priest, uh, Clay Robinson, the Austin Jazz Society, as well as Lucy Suter, um, Jody, and Jason uh, Dommel. And uh, to thank you to Steiner Ranch Steakhouse and uh, everyone who is a part of this tonight. Give yourselves a, a round of applause. Um, Again, this has been a really wonderful uh, partnership with the Austin Jazz Society. You know, I had been running Monk's Jazz as a pop-up listening room, you know, maybe two, sometimes three times a month if we were lucky, at different, you know, coffee shops and art galleries and any place that wasn't a music venue, because on, on, on Friday night, all the music venues are trying to sell as much drinks as they can, blasting the most generic music as possible to get people to talk and hang out, right? So we've got to find all these weird places to take the piano and, um, did I say something weird? No, uh, I, I, okay. 
Um, sometimes I misspeak up here. It's all, it's all the lights. Um, and so it's been, it was, you know, after the pandemic hit, I thought I would never do any of this live streaming stuff. The, the monks experience and the listening room experience is all about being in a room together in an acoustic setting and having a very strict whisper policy and all that stuff. And of course, I just started experimenting at home with the one camera and a few mics and the piano and everything. And after we did a trio stream, the Jazz Society reached out to help raise funds for this Project Safety Net. If you're just tuning in online, uh, after about twenty or thirty thousand dollars that by that April, that they were able to distribute to a bunch of musicians through these last fifty streams, uh, viewers like you at home and patrons in this audience have raised over one hundred and thirty thousand dollars for. Austin jazz musicians out of work. Um, not only is that an amazing feat and big kudos to the Austin Jazz Society, but it's also uh, given sort of a ground floor for Monk's Jazz to rent a little studio we had right across the street. And we were able to do not just four a month every Tuesday, but we did 12 or 10 or 12 shows and uh, kept getting more cameras, kept getting more things. Now we're moved into this place. so. Monks in its current capacity would not be alive without the help of the Austin Jazz Society. So one more round of applause for them. Thank you guys for helping us so much. Please make those donations online. Thank you, Colin. Yeah. So we're going to play a few more tunes. Uh, another one by Rich Harney. This is one he wrote called Pillows. And uh, we'll continue... Uh, after that, with a composition by Chano Dominguez entitled Mr. C.I., written for a very famous uh, flamenco singer, uh, you know, uh, Camarón de las Islas. So, uh, here we go.
like to thank everybody for coming out tonight. This is just really, I forgot what an hour and a half was like. <laughs> it's like, uh, it's pretty nice and it's really great to see everybody. Thank you. Uh, again, we couldn't do it without Masumi Jones. <laughs> and what's up, Dr. James Sue. And keeping everything nice and just incredible, Mr. Bruce Saunders here on guitar. And uh, again, uh, Colin, you know, gave all the shout outs to, for, the, for the Austin Jazz Workshop, but he's done an amazing job here to, you know, to keep moving. Every time I play at Monks, it's at a new venue. And so, I mean, really on the move. It's, uh, jazz jazz in a, isn't exactly homeless in Austin, but, uh, you know, we're finding a place. We're finding a place for it. And I uh, want to thank everybody for coming out. You know, you, it just, it really, sometimes we like to think it just happens all by itself, but it doesn't. So also like to a big shout out to the people that did the publicity and Nikki Kudian, especially who sells my records and takes care of that business back there. Uh, we're going to end uh, the evening with a couple of tunes by my uh, worthy constituent, Mr. Rich Harney. The first one, I think he wrote this for Mike Sailors the trumpet player here in town. It's called The Sailor Man. And then uh, I think appropriately, appropriately we'll end with a tune he wrote called I'll See You There, which is wherever. But hopefully we'll see you there. Uh, I always think about that rich when I, I, people say that now. I'll see you there. So, okay, let's, let's do that.
thanks again to Monks. Thanks for everybody, and we'll see you there. I'll see you there. We'll see you there. Yeah. For Bruce Saunders, James Souter, Masumi Jones, here's truly Alex Kunk. Thank you. Um, thank you so much for being here tonight. It, it means the world to us. We wouldn't be here if you weren't here. It would, uh, I don't know what we'd be doing, but it wouldn't be nearly as much fun, so thank you.
Thanks very much. Thank you, Colin. Thank you so much. Thank you. This means, means the world to us. One more time for Alex Koch. Thank you all so much. Thank you to the sponsors tonight. Denny Malloy, BBA Management, Forrest Priest, Clay Robinson, the Austin and Jazz Society. Keep the applause coming, guys. Lucy Suter, Jody and Jason Dommel, and of course, Steiner Ranch Steakhouse. Please tune in two nights from now for the Ron Wilkins Quintet. Friday night is two shows with uh, Thomas Wenglinski on piano and Paolo Satos on saxophone. And then Sunday night is the Sean Giddings Trio album release. Thank you guys so much. Please come back to the studio. And everyone out there, have a wonderful night. Thank you, guys. Yeah.